What is up? What is up, people? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk, breaking down Call of Duty esports gaming news here every single day, all week long, and I mean that. I must apologize, guys. I'm a bit under the weather, but I did not miss a single match this past weekend. I would say a fairly decent opening weekend for Call of Duty League, and along with that, you guys can expect stories every single day. There are so many player-to-player -player stories. There's a bit of drama and conflict as well, and I cannot cover that in a single episode. I'll be releasing videos probably throughout the entire week as we do wait for the next event. We we have quite some time in between our hands, guys, or on our hands, and so I'll be releasing stories because there are so many personalities when it comes to Call of Duty, so many great stories, and the first of which was our opening matchup and debut. In this video, by the way, I'll be going over Scump, Formal versus Crim6, alongside our results, and you guys can expect a second video today as well as we debate some other issues we saw with opening weekend. Trust me, if you guys have anything you want me to talk about, leave a comment down below. I will certainly cover it this week at some point or another, but when it comes time for the Dallas Empire Chicago Huntsman, the debut of Call of Duty League, the inaugural weekend, and the first matchup. It doesn't go the way of Empire, and it ended in some dramatic fashion. I kid you guys not, when it comes to being hyped up, no other esport gets me this going than Call of Duty does. When it comes to the post game, or I should say, just after the game ended on stage, what Scump Informal said to Crim6. I have no idea, I'm not a lip reader, but I can promise you guys this, Call of Duty could not have started off any better this season. And can they get a touch or will it in here? Nobody's gonna get close enough, it's Chicago! Come in and dominate the response, and they are letting them know across the stage. Woo, those are some heated words yeah. right there! And even then, Scump wasn't done. If you guys remember, we actually caught, talked about this last week about Crim6 saying he had that IW poster he wakes up to on his wall every single day and, and just hates it, despises it, uses it for motivation. And so Scump took to his post-game interview to uh, talk about those comments. We will indeed. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the king of Chicago, Huntsman, reigning say. supreme already, the first game of CDL. We will be back right after the break. Oh, Crim6, oh. you got to take that poster down, man. We're living <laughs> rent-free, brother. <laughs> Golly. Thank you so much, Scum. Oh, I will no. see you guys after the break. Oh, no. Is there any other way to start off Call of Duty League? And again, these storylines will only continue to actually bolster this league. This league needs this player drama. I guess you could call it conflict as well. And I love it so much. What do you guys think about that? But it's still a great, strong opening series for Huntsman. And it did continue for them throughout the weekend. If you guys did miss the standings, well, it's pretty much, it's a gigantic shock, especially when it comes to, I would say, looking at your bottom four teams. And let's be honest, results right now, this early on opening weekend, do not mean much. You drop a patch a couple days before that. Slide canceling is still halfway in the game. Certainly, there are plenty of issues that teams could blame, especially if you're an LA Gorillas fan. We'll talk about that in the future. When it comes time for preseason rankings, four of your top six teams are now in the bottom six at the very least, that being Surge alongside Subliners. And then you got Optic in there and Empire all at 0 and 2 which is pretty shocking, although all four of those teams played at least one top team. As you look at your top four as well, Atlanta, Chicago are not too surprising, followed out by Rocker and the Legion. The Legion of all teams, I mean, yes, we've seen it time and time again, especially even when you look towards London, they were very upset by those preseason rankings, and they will continue to shift, I would say, a lot until probably weeks four, five, or six. These will not be solidified results, and especially when you have many pro players out there calling for the removing of domination to fill it in with another SND. This this league, I love it. It's going to be so amazing. We'll talk about viewership later on. What do you guys think about this? I feel like each and every week when we break down results, though, we also need to talk about maybe your most dominant teams, maybe your lackluster teams out there, and I'll give you guys my two, but let's get this straight right off the bat. I don't mean offense to these teams, okay? Many of these teams had a few mistakes, if not many mistakes, that could be easily corrected. Alongside that, the game itself did not offer much opportunity for this correction because they released a patch uh, you know, a couple days before, and the game itself already has a series of issues. I'm not blaming the teams here, guys. I'm just saying there are some teams that look better than others, and I think it's obvious to point out that Atlanta, FaZe, and Chicago both were utterly dominant, especially when you look towards a team like FaZe Clan, two different S&D maps going 6-0 against two of your supposedly still going to be top teams by the end of the season. These kids, and I feel okay saying kids, are absolutely nuts. It was very, very fun to watch them, alongside the likes of Chicago as well, just dominate. Seriously, just dominate both of their series. Alongside that, though, you flip it off into a team like New York, who I think made countless, 
countless mistakes. Yes, you take a map and Dom off of FaZe Clan, the only map you take all weekend long, and it just it didn't look it didn't look like what we expected. I think there's many calls out there already to see a guy like Sensor step in, and uh, a guy like Sensor is certainly someone I will talk about later this week as well as a substitute player, whether he's doing it correctly or incorrectly. And of course, you guys can leave your thoughts down below. Who is the most dominant team you saw this past weekend? I think it has to be one of two options. Who was the most lackluster team this weekend? And and again, I'm not going to say a team like Dallas Empire. They still looked very strong and played two strong opponents. Opponents. And so I'm going to go with New York on this one. I, th I still think Zuma had a very, very decent, if not uh, above average weekend for himself. Just not enough for that team at this point in time. As always, hope you guys all enjoy. And again, there are so many stories to cover when it comes to Call of Duty. I would list it off for you guys, but it would take a probably solid minute about that. But I can promise you guys this, LA Gorillas in phase will be talked about very, very soon here on this channel. Alongside that, breaking down videos all week long. You know, this past weekend was certainly a rough one for a lot of people out there. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys all enjoy your week. Have a great, safe week, guys. I'll be back here all day long, all week long, breaking down esports and gaming news. Call of Duty opening weekend. Super excited about it and super excited to cover it here on this channel. Uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.